if we didn't remember, we went ahead and tucked this in. And it would come in handy for a later purpose. So this gets a lot of slack. As you can see over here, this doesn't have all that much slack. This is where this picks up. So we're going to remove the taps here, cut this off, and then splice them together to get it to the truck. So there's a change of plans on the fuse taps here. Um, the previous taps, I couldn't reuse them because they were insufficiently uh, supporting for the new amperage. I think I tapped into a 7.5 and rookie mistake. I'm no rookie, but this was my negligence. Um, it popped the primary fuse because nine amps, even at a minimum, was just too much. So it just, the add a circuit fail, right? I went through a test light to see which ones were actually available and switched. And uh, all these 15 amps are pretty much constant, so I couldn't tap into that. Um, there was a blank fuse that I found that was switched, and that is the one right under this 15, under the seat heater. Um, I went ahead and asked online and to see what uh, amperage that may have been, because it's undocumented. Shout out to Sean Boyle, who's a Lexus technician on the Lexus RCF owners group. He went ahead and said that was a 15 amp slot for the AVS or adaptive variable suspension on a quick car. My car is a 2015. So this is uh, inapplicable to me and it was a free switch slot. So that add a circuit was added with a double 15 because it's not serving anything for the primary. It's just a direct tap. Alternatively, what was gonna have to happen was a fuse block and uh, relay to the back, but avoided that. Been running this for a few months now. It is fully sufficient. No pop fuses, no charge issues, no overheating is sufficient. So this is, again, undocumented information. If you need a high amp uh, fuse tap, you can use that blank if you don't have the 2015. Um, and again, shout out to Sean Boyle for that invaluable information. Before you bundle everything up, you want to just check your connections. Uh, where am I at? Uh, these are my connections here. Just spliced it with the existing. So you don't even have to take apart any of this right here. Just splice it all together. And before you put everything back, make sure that your ground is good and your and the circuit is correct. One thing I realized on these taps provided by Blackview, it is uh, not gonna work for the Lexus RCF and probably other cars. Uh, you see the difference here, um, kind of a stubby type connect, I forget what it's called, uh, A&L or mini A&L, something like that. These are the added tests that I got from Amazon to use before. Uh, it works just fine. And you can kind of see the connector there matches with what the fuse is already. Uh, these from Blackview do not fit. So I'm gonna have to break this up and um, use one of my Amazon third party uh, add a fuse circuits for this functionality. Um, for example, just check this, this is not the right size, but you see there's not enough metal here to actually get it on. Be advised on that before you even start, make sure that you have a &L fuse or added circuit fuses on hand, and I got a lot of them. Continuing on, make sure that this is getting power. Everything is connected, it's running, dash, uh, parking mode is on, and uh, plug this in with the switch off first, and then put it on, and the car is fully off. Nothing connected to the battery other than the battery pack, and you can see that that white light is on. Let's see if I can get it triggered. Yep, parking mode on. So this is the final connection. Uh, before you tidy everything back up, make sure it is all uh, configured correctly. So we got the power going from the fuse tap uh, directly into this slot. And we got the hard wire going directly to the uh, dash cam that's already mounted. I ended up picking up a 
uh, extra used one for extendability from my boy Matt locally. Shout out to him. Previous RCF owner, real cool guy. Daisy chain that to double the uh, capacity. So I get like a full 24 hours after I think 80 minutes of driving or so. But before I did that, just had some spare uh, two by fours in the garage that I cut up just to make sure that it didn't slide. It's Velcro underneath there. It really doesn't move, but this is just extra security. And the reason why it looks jank is because uh, it was just for one, added this one, and this hasn't moved at all. So put that under there. The original goal was to put it on Velcro to the back of this, but it was just too much movement. It was too heavy, and there's really no uh, screws that I could use on these uh, batteries. So uh, that is the full install. I hope this helped. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's really not really reinventing the wheel or nothing. You're just running wires, you're splicing wires, and you have the know-how on what fuse tap to use for the Lexus RCF. If this is not for, if you're a viewer and you're not a Lexus RCF owner, just make sure that you use a sufficient fuse tap. Um, or not, you're going to blow fuses and it's not going to work. So, appreciate y'all watching. It's been another episode of BWY2ATXF, the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Join F in the chat, the Discord group. Let's see what it does. It's not really any movement right now, but uh, you know how things can go. So appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care. Till next time.